Hello everyone, I'm back for another video. Thanks for coming and watching this video. This video is something special because this coming Sunday is Mother's Day and I'd like to dedicate this video to all the mothers out there. Uh, the story is a brief one. It's about a spouse who is not working and uh, the husband and the psychologist are arguing about this uh, wife of the husband and this uh, story is uh, basically done in uh, Tagalog language or in the Philippine language and I will have it translated in English for those who uh, cannot follow the Tagalog language so without any further delay let's go and watch and listen to the video so the psychologist says and asked the husband or the father what do you do in life and then the husband or the father said I am working as an accountant in a bank and then she asked him again uh, what about your wife what is she doing and then the husband says uh, she doesn't have uh, any work she is just uh, at home and uh, playing housewife and then she asked him again so who does the cooking at home for the family and he responded uh, my wife because uh, she doesn't have uh, any work and then she asked him another question what time does your wife usually get up in the morning to cook breakfast for the family and then he responded he usually gets up at five because uh, she needs to clean up first in the morning before she starts cooking our breakfast and then she asked him again about the kids uh, how does the kids uh, go to school and then he responded uh, of course my wife uh, takes them to school because she doesn't have any job so what happens then after your wife drops the kids to school and then uh, he responded well she usually goes to the market to buy food for us for the family and then she goes home to wash the clothes and uh, cook for us because you know she doesn't have any job so what happens in the evening or on your way home and uh, after you get home what do you usually do and then he responded well uh, she prepares the food for us and the kids uh, and then after that after we ate our dinner she washes the dishes she cleans a little bit and then she will help my kids do their homework and after that she will put the kids to sleep because she doesn't have any job so after the lengthy conversation the psychologist asked the husband one final question and she asked him so between you and your wife who do you think has the most job at home and then the husband just went totally blank every day that's what mothers always do they wake up early in the morning and they are last to go to sleep and some of us will still classify them as an individual who doesn't have any work and yes as a mother you don't need a certificate or a college degree because their role is very important to us so we should always keep in mind of what a mother or wife does because their sacrifices are uncountable this should be a reminder and reflection for all of us to understand and appreciate the mother's role remember when she is quiet millions of things are running in her mind when she stares at you she is wondering why she loves you so much in spite of being taken for granted when she says, I will stand by you, she will stand by you like a rock. Never hurt her or take her wrong or for granted. So to all the mothers out there, Happy Mother's Day to all of you. And I hope you had a good one 
have fun and enjoy your special day and uh, hope that uh, you uh, get treated uh, by your uh, kids or your uh, husbands and uh, take uh, some time and uh, try to relax uh, for yourself. Again, all the best to you and uh, take care and God bless. So, thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you liked it and hope that uh, you got uh, inspired by the story of the uh, not working mother. And uh, before I end this video, I'd like to make a shout out to all the super chatters who came to my last two premieres. Uh, Mylene, uh, Guapa, uh, Jensen, Ivona, Juan Letra, uh, Menchi, uh, Riz, Miss DJ Lee, uh, Gen OFW, Jobs TV, Lolo Grandpa, and Isa Rarogal. Thanks again everyone and hope you look after yourself and take care always. Bye-bye!